community. I chose this because me and my mom bike at one make sure things are safe for us. My dad, Terry Preston, if any of you knew him, worked towards this cause. And my cousin Sean, he was in an accident. He, he's fine now. And uh, several roads around the community have cracked, uneven pavement, glass on the road, which is dangerous for tires. And or there is areas where there's either no bike lanes or bike lanes just ending. I live in South Natomas, nearby here, but I go to school in North Natomas. I also hope for the Swedish design to be implemented. The design involves a different areas for bikes to travel through, more signs, lower speed limits, and roundabouts. The design prevents high speed collisions with bike riders and pedestrians alike. Something I'd like to see happen here. We've seen some types of improvement. There's a roundabout in Acevedo and San Juan, which had, and Acevedo had a lease striping, which took out a car lane and whitened the bike lane. And I also did research for my for a presentation at my school on crash statistics and safety tips that I could give to other students. Some of the top five moving factors from least to greatest in the, the amount they have in are crash collision, not paying attention, the road or walkway was not in good repair, the rider fell or, and hit by car. Since damaged roadways are a factor for accidents, preparing them now can save lives in the future. Distractions can include listening to music or focusing on one thing in the road and not paying full attention to the environment. Other risk factors include alcohol and night riding. Stay sober. When night riding, wear brightly colored clothing and carry lights on your bike. And you should ride with traffic, not against, and always wear a helmet, even if it's a short ride. And the area where my cousin Sean was in actually lacked a sidewalk and a bike path. I hope that areas that like these have them installed. Near a freeway in North Daytona, there's an area where the bike lane just ends. We need to press the city to make improvements like these so our roads can be safer for bicyclists and pedestrians. I'm done.